Hello everyone and welcome to Azam Sharp Weekly. In this video, I will show you how you can parse JSON using Swift for codable protocols. In order to parse JSON, we first obviously need to have JSON. So there's a website called JSON Placeholder where you can get different kind of dummy JSONs. So I'm going to go ahead and select this one, which is Pulse. And you can see that over here, the JSON is basically an array, and that particular array consists of other items, basically dictionaries, which are the key user ID, ID, title, and body. So let's say if we want to parse this particular JSON and get it into our model in Swift, how can we do that? The first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and copy this URL because we'll be needing that. I'm also going to go ahead and import playground support because I would like to do an asynchronous request and I like to also make sure that my playground is actually does needs uh, the indefinite execution. All right, so it will just keep on going. Okay, let's create a URL. We're going to pass in the URL that we just uh, just copied. You can use any URL you want but uh, this is a URL that doesn't really require you to create any key or anything, so that's why I'm using this. I also need to have some sort of a class or a structure where I can put these posts. So I can go ahead and say post structure, which will have some sort of a properties which will map to these results, user ID, ID, title, body. So let's go ahead and create a user ID. So we have first of all user ID, which is integer. One thing you will notice is that I'm naming it exactly like uh, the JSON response. User ID is in the camel case, and the user ID I'm saying over here is also in camel case. ID will be integer, not ID. Next up is the ID. So let's go ahead and create ID. And this will also be integer. Then we have title which is string, and then we have, I believe, body, which is also string. Now, if you go over here, everything, every key over here in JSON is actually matching the name of the property in my post class or post structure in this case. If I want to get all of this JSON and basically uh, consume or put it or populate my model, I have to say this is codable. And this is a new protocol that is added in Swift 4, which means that now I can actually map my JSON and put it inside my post. All right, so let's see how we can do that. The first thing I need to do is I need to use URL session or any other networking library to get all the data. So let's go ahead and use URL session.shared.data task. We are going to pass in the URL and now for the completion handler, we're going to get the data, response, and error. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to say data and response and error. There we go. In. And now also don't forget to call resume. If you don't call resume, then uh, it's not going to work. I mean, your request is not going to go through. Over here, I'm just going to say that go ahead and give me the data. And once you give me the data, currently go ahead and print it out. Let's go ahead and run this and see that if we even can get the data or not. And here we go. So we got some data. That's great. So this is an indication that we were successfully able to make the request and get some sort of a response back. But it would be nice if this response is actually uh, converted to post or in other words, an array of posts, because if you see over here at the top, everything is inside an array. So in order to do that, we will use JSON decoder. JSON decoder is a class which is available in Swift 4, which allows you to easily decode. So the parameter you have to pass in is JSON decoder dot decode. And you can see that now our famous uh, Xcode is a uh, playground is kind of bailing out at this point. But now over here, you need to provide in the type 
of the decoder, meaning what you will have to decode it to. You can see that the IntelliSense or suggestion is not really coming up. If you face these kind of problems in your playground, which you will, then you can simply go outside the asynchronous request and start typing this. So JSON decoder dot uh, create an instance dot decode. And now we need to provide the particular type. So the type of where we are decoding is not really post.self type, it's an array of post.self. So let's go ahead and create an array and say post.self. And then we can also pass in the data. And now we can go ahead and copy this particular line over here. So this is kind of like a trick that you can use because inside the this asynchronous block or this closure, the JSON decoder is actually not working in playgrounds, all right? Now I can go ahead and say that I want to, uh, I'm going to use the try optional. So if it fails, it's going to give me simply null or nil. And now I'm going to get all the posts. And now hopefully I can display all the posts. So let's go ahead and display posts. And that's all you need to do to convert your JSON response, which kind of looks like this, an array of uh, dictionaries into an array of posts which consist of the same name or the attributes as they are returned from the JSON dictionary. So let's go ahead and run this and see that if we can get the post being displayed on the uh, output window. So I'm going to go ahead and run this. It's going to make a request and there we go. So you can see all the different posts being uh, rendered on the, uh, you know, on the console. So this is how easy it is to decode JSON and map it to your custom class or a custom structure. If you are interested in supporting my videos or want to learn more about JSON parsing, you might be interested in my course, which is called the Complete Guide to JSON Parsing using Swift 4. This is a long course. Basically, it is around three hour course, which goes through JSON parsing uh, many different ways. And you can see that it covers advanced stuff, intermediate, as well as beginner stuff. So if you are looking for improving your skills for JSON parsing, this is a must have course. And you can find a discount link right in the description. So you can click on it and get an amazing discount. Thank you so much for supporting my channel.